The NFL on EA Sports is in the Steel City at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, PA. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Here's Kai Forbath now to get us started. And we are underway from Heinz Field. This is fielded at the goal line. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line. carry for James Conner and an alley to run the Red Sea parts and there he goes 30 and he takes this down deep on the Cowboys side of the field a big play there on the first play of the game 67 yards on the ground so from their own 20 all the way to the red zone now a chance to capitalize on first and 10 now Roethlisberger. Got his man, that's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Nick Vanette there to make the grab. And the Steelers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Throwing on second and 14. Prescott, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack by T.J. Watt, or as his mother Connie calls him, Trent Jordan Watt. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Take it at the 37. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. Now, the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. It's Roethlisberger. That'll be taken in there by James Washington. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. 
So they come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone and nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. On second down, Connor looking for space. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Open man, Smith Schuster, it's complete. And he will have a first down at about the 21 yard line. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Here we go, here we go. Move 30. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. And it's caught. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Two first quarter touchdown passes now for Ben Roethlisberger. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Boswell for the extra point. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. On the RPO, Prescott's gonna keep it himself. They fire this one quickly to Austin. Tavon Austin, he's gonna go. 20, touchdown, Cowboys. Tavon Austin, an 80-yard touchdown as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. And it's second down. Two seconds to go, first quarter. Second and ten now, it's Roethlisberger. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here. 
as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. So the sack and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A pickup of 27, and they pick up the first down in the process. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And he connects with Vance McDonald. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. Watch your goodbye. Watch your goodbye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here we go again. Here we go again. Black, black, black. On first down, it's Samuels. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Now Roethlisberger getting this one into the hands of Smith-Schuster. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. You know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coach's son, and then he finally got that opportunity. I think he's made the most of it. It's always the coach's son, isn't it? But you know where it helps him? When he looks downfield, he knows what the receivers are going to do. He actually has wide receiver's eyes when he's throwing the ball. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Now, the intended receiver out of the backfield was Jalen Samuels, but it's going to be second down from the 24. They'll go again on second and 10. Alert, alert. On second down, Samuels. And able to work his way down to the 16. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 16. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. You got it. You got him. Ha -ha, you got him. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Third and two. Now Roethlisberger. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Three first-half touchdown passes now for Ben Roethlisberger. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. I know I'm not supposed to ask questions in this situation. I'm supposed to have answers. But I have to ask, with so many people in such a small area here in the red zone, I can't imagine how they lose a guy of his size and he finds his way open for a touchdown. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. 
You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. First down, Prescott. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick. And a super return as he gets this all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. That's going to be caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Here we go, here we go. Black 30. Big Ben going to take it himself. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Oh, yeah, good surge defensively. Sometimes you can just tell by the way a quarterback lines his feet up behind center. He's going to try and sneak it in. And they catch him here and stop him for no gain. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll look to run with Connor. And yeah, he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. First half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this run? Well, I've been told by my coaches previously that the intelligent approach, go ahead and run out the clock and start over. Don't make any more mistakes. But there's also something to understanding that you get this last drive here. You get the ball to start the second half. Try and go two for one here. Get some points now and come out of the locker room and get more points again and get your momentum really built up. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Well, now they'll try the end around. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Prescott lets it fly deep for Cobb. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Let's go! Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From midfield now, here's Roethlisberger. Got an open man, it's Washington. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Four seconds left, and there's the timeout. 
in field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, this from 34. And Boswell's kick is good. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. We got this. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they've... He's got a man complete! That one good for 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Bud Dupree leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Prescott to throw it. He finds his target. It's Schultz. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dalton Schultz, 44 yards. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They start with a give to Connor, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Defensively, it was Leighton Vander Esch up from his linebacker spot. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Again, a run with Connor. And no luck at all to start this drive as they're going to drop him behind the line for a second straight play. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And a throw there going to be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run with Pollard. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. To throw his press gun. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. On the RPO, Prescott's going to keep it himself. It's caught. Cooper. There he goes, Amari Cooper. Touchdown, Cowboys. Amari Cooper, 51 yards. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Format to send it away now following the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Steelers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. 55. Right there in the middle. 55. Let's go, defense. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And it's brought in by Washington. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. Roethlisberger now 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. Roethlisberger throwing complete to McDonald. The completion good for three and it's second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. He 
Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Seven yards there and a first down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Roethlisberger now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. On first and ten is Connor. And some space here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Meanwhile here, a run on first down really backfires as he's going to be brought down well behind the line of scrimmage. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Roethlisberger setting up the screen. This is Samuels. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them. Ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Big Ben with his fourth touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. That's fielded in the end zone. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They start on the ground with Elliott. And that's a loss of seven for the first down play. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Throwing on second and long. Prescott trying to get it to Cobb, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Steven Nelson. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is fielded a couple yards deep. He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Back to it after the pick six. Prescott nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Devin Bush in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
the intended receiver, Tavon Austin. But now it's third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. To the air again, Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. T.J. Watt able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. After the sack on first down, Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Ready? Black 80! Check Mike 54. Mike 54. I got you, pup. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.